Hey everyone, Dr. Baron Grutter here. I just want to make a quick video talking about um, a, a situation that I see quite often um, and I wanted to maybe offer a tool that might help. So this is a case that we're going to be doing a surgical guide on. Um, and uh, really this is the place where we're, where we're working. This tooth right here is a bridge and the patient's elected to replace this defective bridge with a new crown, new crown, and an implant. For now we're just worrying about the implant. We're going to section the pontic off, place the implant, and then during healing we'll end up replacing the crowns and going from there. But I went to design the surgical guide, I noticed a problem, a fairly big problem. Unfortunately, the data on the lingual of this area did not get captured. Now, my guess is it did get captured. The problem is, is it had a large undercut, just like this one, and most likely the data was just inconsistent, hard to get access to, and just didn't come out great. And so the software sort of disregarded that data when it was processed, but just wasn't noted uh, by my assistant when she scanned. No big deal, it happens, it's, it's unfortunate, we want to avoid that, but if it happens, sometimes there might be something we can do. And that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. So I've talked about this tool before, it's the bridge tool. And I've shown how to do similar things, just using it and maybe for different situations. So I'm gonna show you how to use the bridge tool to potentially repair this model to make it work for us. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the select tool, which is the shortcut is S, is what I normally click. And I'm gonna click this area right below this tooth. Doesn't have to be exact and then a little area right down here. Now I need to bridge these two areas, okay? So I'm gonna come over here to modify, or sorry, edit, bridge, or just hit control B. And there the software has bridged the gap. It's joined these two areas together, hit accept. Now I'm gonna hit escape, and I'm going to enter the analysis menu, click on inspector, and it's gonna show me any holes that are visible, okay? Now the bottom of the entire model is always gonna be a hole because it's an open mesh. Don't worry about that. So we don't wanna hit auto repair all because we're only gonna click on this little sphere here that if you look, the line attaches to the hole that we're working with, okay? That we wanna fill this hole in. I would suggest that you change the default flat fill to smooth fill and then just click on this globe. And there it is, repaired. I'm gonna hit done so I don't, I didn't click anything. Now as we review this, you can actually see the contours that actually looks probably fairly accurate. Maybe a little bit undercut more than the pontic is, but it kind of follows the natural form and where these teeth are. And truth be told, it doesn't have to be perfect because really I'm gonna be virtually extracting this tooth for the guide, but now I can see that it does fit. If you don't like the multicolor, I can hit Control A, that highlights everything come over to modify or hit control shift G, but we're gonna clear the face groups. Now that didn't affect anything. It just made it so it was all gray. So you can kind of see it uniformly. And you see that's a pretty good model. Again, this is probably more undercut than reality, but I'm gonna be virtually extracting that tooth, so it does not matter. But anyway, that's a little trick, a little something that um, I've actually already designed this case. I've moved forward. Um, in fact, this was the model that I created uh, to use. I virtually extracted the tooth, and so now I, I have great conf a great deal of confidence that this guide that fits this model will fit in her mouth. Um, but I do go over how to extract teeth uh, in other videos. And But anyway, I just hope this uh, tool gives you another option, another tool up your sleeve. Um, if you... Uh, run into a situation like this, maybe you can rescue the guy at not the model, or maybe you have to have the patient back in to scan some more. Whichever, but uh, now you know, one more option. All right, thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.